welcome back to another one man today we have the brand new 4k fire stick max or fire stick 4k max or max fire stick tv 4k i don't know <laughs> i don't know how the combination is on this thing so we'll just call it the force the four stick <laughs> i can't e i can't even today guys i can't even i just got up i just can't even now before we really dive into it um make sure you guys do check out the description below we have a really good vpn deal going on right now this is a brand new one not the one that i typically advertise or not the typically one that i've been talking about this is a new one yeah people are gonna say what you actually got a new yes a new one <laughs> another one so go down in the description below for you guys watching this video i'm hooking you guys up with a really good vpn um check them out they have a great great deal there so make sure you guys do check them out they have a lot of good stuff uh and i always tell everybody just get the annual you save more money um, it's only a couple bucks and you're protected. You're protected, especially when it comes to all this stuff with the cybersecurity and everything that's going on right now um, with all the different Wi-Fi's and the sidewalks and streaming and your computer uh, information. You just want to get a good VPN that's going to protect yourself. So check the description below. That way you guys can get protected and hooked up. So, OK, let's jump into this one. As always, I try to leave you guys coupon codes, so make sure you guys do check the description below. We will try to leave links here with the latest and greatest stuff. So the very first thing I'm going to do is, uh, well, it's funny because I'm reading the back here, and the back here says level up. <laughs> so level up. They're probably listening to the next level here. Level up your entertainment experience. Get smoother 4K streaming with next-gen Wi-Fi 6. Watch your favorite all here do more on your fire tv so um press and ask alexa, alexa your wi-fi 6 4k ultra hd hdr uh dynamic range dolby vision atmos quad core uh, interesting interesting no now here's here, here's a cool little thing here this is like it tells you what you need and what you get so what's included obviously the the stick the third gen remote which is their latest and greatest two AAA batteries power adapter usb and hdmi extender cable what's needed high speed internet with wi-fi an hd tv or 4k hd tv with hdmi output preset app buttons may vary wi-fi 6 router needed for wi-fi 6 support now here we go the moment of truth we're going to, and let's go ahead and shoot over here to uh, the bottom camera. That way we could see everything that we're getting. So here we go. Everything is in this little package right there. Um, so pretty easy. Just looks like everything's all in there. So it's kind of like, I call this like throw up because everything just comes right out. Uh, all right. Here is the stick that does not want to come out. Oh no, this is the, the cable. This is the extender. There you go. So extender took a minute. Now don't throw it away. I know when you first get it initially, you're gonna be like, okay, cool. Here's my hello. Um, here is the new remote. Here's that that power cable, fire stick, and extender. But if you notice, box looks empty, but there is a couple slots here, which I don't like how they kind of made it hidden. Um, they should have just left it like that so here we go open this guy up and you will be greeted with uh these are new new amazon basics yeah these are very new these are different very very different than what i'm used to so check this out these are uh, gray i guess i know some, some of you guys might be like well what's the big deal um industrial alkaline these are going to be a little bit different than what they were before i don't know if they're going to last longer now this is the the one with the the old remote or i guess it's the newer remote still but these are the batteries that you get you get these yellow ones and these are just your basics and it looks like it's probably going to be the same thing i'm just comparing the the lines here a a l r o 3 a m 4 1.5 volts these ones say industrial alkaline so they might work actually a little bit longer the, these ones don't say industrial alkaline so very interesting 
should be pretty good though still they should still work so let's go ahead and, pl and plug everything in um, the fire stick remote it's going to depend on your region they're going to be slightly different um, so wherever you are it's going to be a little bit different than here in the united states so i got my prime video netflix disney plus and hulu i use them all except for netflix uh, I wish they would let me change that, but I wish they had like a little thing that I could just pop off and pop on just to put something else on, but not bad. So here we go, putting these in. These things feel really good, really snug, and the snap on this thing feels really good because I don't know if it's because it's brand new or what, but it does feel, does feel pretty good. It does feel pretty good. I don't know if they change anything, but it feels a little bit better than, than the other one, and the other one's also brand new. Okay, so I just unplugged my other Fire Stick here, um, and this is the third gen here. So just looking at the two, it looks like girth-wise it's going to be about the same. Looks like the HDMI looks about the same. Um, this one says Fire TV, and this one just has a little happy face. Um, HDMI, everything looks pretty much the same. The only difference is the new Fire Stick Max. When you compare the two, actually, you know what? When I do compare the two, it does feel like the 4K Max has a little bit more girth, like ever so slightly. I don't know if you can see the difference on that one, but the girth is a little bit thicker on the Max. And when you look at the length, the length is definitely bigger on the Max. So very, very interesting. Very, very interesting to see. So I'm going to unplug this one um, because I definitely don't want... Um, any interference within the new remote and the old fire stick so i'm just gonna set this guy over here now with the 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 usb that you get you are getting that that uh, usb a it's the old one i'm i'm still waiting to see that usb c with these guys it's kind of like come on you guys are you guys are are pushing the envelopes now with some better stuff why don't you guys catch up so okay let's go ahead and you know what we're going to use the extender and you know what the extender actually when you compare the two extenders the old one's a lot thicker than the new one so interesting there and all right let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see exactly what we get and here we go whoa <laughs> fire tv is on fire so here we go uh these next steps i'm probably going to be skipping um probably going to be skipping most of them because they're going to be pretty easy it's very very simple it says here hit the home button as soon as you hit the home button a couple times it should read it if it doesn't just get a little bit closer if you have to you might have to hold it for 30 seconds but follow the on-screen instructions now it says hit play there you go it says english so again a lot of this stuff is going to be very very simple so just follow the on-screen instructions let's go over to the home page and here we go. This is your uh, home page. Now, of course, on the home page, you got ad after ad after ad after ad. You got so much stuff here um, with just Amazon. Of course, you got your find. This is where you can look at your library, free movies, app store, all that stuff. This is where you want it. You got your your live stuff. So in your on your home button here, um, you have uh, or I should say your remote. You have a little TV. That's going to be that live tab. So if you click on it. It's going to take you to, actually, it doesn't take you to the live tab. It takes you to live TV. Uh, Pluto, which is pretty cool how they actually added that. That's, hmm. It used to go to live. It used to go to the live tab here. Now it just goes straight to TV. Okay. All right, Amazon. I see you guys. All right. <laughs> I like it. Um, if you click here, this the little three boxes with the plus sign, this is where you're going to get all your apps and channels. Um, if you hit that hamburger button, which is this one right here, um, Let's just go to Sling, for example. You get your move, move to front, hide from your apps, move, remove from cloud, or uninstall, depending on the apps. Um, if you move it up here to the top, this is going to be your shortcuts that you see right up here on the homepage, uh, which is great. I, I do wish they would have been able to change the bottom where you can see just the apps that you want and not all these different ads galore. Now, let's come over here to good old YouTube. And we're going to search here, World of uh, Rojas. Now, I do have a very good video here. Um, this one is in uh, 4K, and the quality is just amazing. So right off the bat, 
it snaps in pretty pretty good so check this out um what i like to do is i like to come here now the capture card that i am using is a 1080p card so it's going to say auto 1080p if i do hide myself look at that it says max 1080p before it wasn't saying max before it was just saying 1080p now it's telling us that the max quality that's coming from your device is going to only be 1080p at max so if you put it on a 4K, it's going to say max 4K. Some good stuff. Now, if you guys don't know about this channel, this is the world of Rojas. This is my travel stuff. I post. Uh, I haven't posted in quite a while, but I have a lot of footage coming. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna put a lot of it on here so that way you guys can check it out. I like to travel. I like to go around and, and review stuff. So I'll go ahead and leave that there for you guys to play with. Um, but... Check out that channel, World of Rojas, in the description below. Um, you guys will be able to find me um, and some good, good stuff there. So let's come over here to uh, settings. And the next thing I like to do is I'm going to use Downloader. I'm going to use IDA64. Um, IDA64 is a really good app to look at all the specs without reading the box. It tells you like what it is. So I, I turn this on. Uh, adb debugging i turn that on and it's very simple just off on install from unknown app so this is going to say off typically um, just click it on that's it and it's going to allow it so from there i go back to here and um, i know my download is on that home page it just added it there but this is where i like to go to and I like to go to uh, browser. Now with browser, whatever it is right here, I like to come up here to this little guy right there. Uh, first thing I do is I hit clear. And then the very first thing I like to do is www.google.com. So you could use that little guy right there and it's gonna type it in. If it types it in funny, you might have to manually do it. Hit go and there you go. Now the next thing I like to do is again, IDA64. Um, I'm gonna try that ida 64 apk and it pulled up iris 64 so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna have to delete it so ida 64 um sometimes with some of these apps might be a little bit different uh, ida 64 apk so sometimes it it, it you know the, the your alessa device won't be able to pick it up what you're saying so it's okay you could just type it in and then hit the play button it has little shortcuts there so here's the first one ida64.com just hit download give it a few seconds and you're going to be greeted with this page now of course there's going to be ads galore i just love when they put ads everywhere and i can't figure out which one look here's a download don't do that one um, and then it says download locations. Here's two of them. Click on this one. Click on the one that's black and it has the gear icon. Click on that. The other one sends you somewhere else for whatever reason. Um, so just be careful. Now, real quick, while it is downloading that thing, because it does say 9.4 megabytes and I'm not even at a megabyte yet, um, the remote. So you do have your power button up here. You do have your uh, Alessa button. You got up, down, left, right, enter. Um, this is going to be your back button. So this is how you can back up on things. You got your home button. You got your your settings. Uh, really good stuff here. Now in the middle here, you got your play pause. And you could either rewind or fast forward. Good stuff. Um, this is your volume. So louder, softer. This is going to be your mute. And then right here, this is that TV button that sent you over to Pluto, which is cool because before it used to just do the, it used to just send you to the live TV apps, kind of dumb. So now it opens up Pluto, which is cool. Down here, I want to know this from you guys. If you guys have purchased any of these new remotes, um, mine says Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu. Leave me a comment. Let me know what four buttons do you have i um, kind of curious because it is based on geolocation. So I got Prime Video, Netflix, Disney, and Hulu. Very interested to know what it is that you got. So here it is, um, 5.3 megabytes out of 9. So I'm going to show you a very important step. Do not fast forward. This is very important. Now remember, um, this is again, disclaimer, this IDA64 app shows you the guts of what's in there. So when you get to this stage, of course you wanna hit install. Whatever you're trying to install, this is what you do. But don't open the app from here. You're gonna get this sign. You're gonna says ready to launch. Don't open it. Wait till it goes away. At the bottom, it says done or open. 
Don't open. Hit done. The reason why is everybody misses this step here. It says status file download successful. Here is the file. You already installed it. You want to delete the file now. You have the app now. Hit delete. Don't hit done. Don't hit install. Hit delete because this takes memory. This takes storage out of your device. So hit delete, hit delete, and then you're done. Now from here, I like to go all the way to the left, go up, hit home. Now I'm back there again. I'm going to hit that home button one more time. Now this gets a little bit trickier. Um, I'm going to come all the way over here to my settings app. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to come down towards the bottom. Now look at this. This is the only app that, well, of course, it does. you don't see IDA64 anywhere. But this is the only app that doesn't have an image. Now, Amazon started to do some weird stuff with their image file readers, and now sometimes it reads, sometimes it doesn't. So by knowing um, by knowing what it is, you could actually hit the hamburger button right here. And um, if you want to hit just uninstall just for the hell of it, it says right here, the app will be installed. It says IDA64 right up there, uh, right above the R. If you're just like, I don't want to hit install just in case I accidentally do install it, just click on it. Click on it, it's going to open it up. This is IDA64. So check this out. These are the specs that Amazon cannot hide behind. This, this is reading the device. So the device type TV manufacturer Amazon model is AFTKA, not AFTV News. Very interesting. AFTKA. The board is called Cara. Hardware platform is the MT8696. Now this is all Amazon stuff. Um, as far as RAM goes two gigs of ram thank you thank you they're finally giving us two gigs of ram on a stick which is great your memory is advertised as uh, and i should call it ram your your storage your internal storage is advertised as eight gigs of internal storage this you get a little bit over five gigs which is good the old Fire 4K Fire Stick, I think you had like 4.3, and I think the third gen and the light also had 4.3 or 4.2 um, gigs of memory. This one has five, so you get almost a full gig. And remember, I also had a lot of stuff downloaded already, so you almost get a, a gig. If not, you get the full gig on its own. So very, very, very good stuff there. As far as the CPU goes, this is running a quad-core ARM Cortex A55, which is great. Um, you do have some that are a little bit better, but for a stick, 855 is great. Um, 64 bit, good stuff. Again, quad core is great. Um, I am running a 1080p card, so it is reading my screen resolution as 1920 by 1080. If I'm running a fire, a 4k TV, then it's going to read it as a 4k. Now, as far as my GPU goes, this is all Amazon stuff. Imagination technologies, power VR rogue, GE 9215. This is all their own stuff. For Android, they are using Android 9. I do wish they were using a little bit better, and I know a lot of it has to do with cell phone securities with the higher versions, but still, I wish they were at least on 10. It's like, come on, guys. How long are we going to be dragging Android 9 around on your stick? So Android 9 is good. It's gonna The stick's going to run great. Um, they have their own platform. They just use the base code for Android 9, so it's good. The device is not rooted, so there you go. Now, as far as Codex goes, if you look at right here, right there, the second line, this says Dolby AC3. If you go down to right there, this says Dolby EAC3. So you're getting Dolby audio good stuff we're finally seeing it. i know with some of the stuff the other stuff they had it advertised but you didn't really see it now you're seeing it great stuff when it comes to audio this is everything that you're getting mp4 ac3 3 gpp you get both different types of dolby's um, eac3 flac all law m law mpeg opus raw vorbis mp4 your FLAC, 3GPP, some great, great stuff here. As far as your video goes, look at this, Dolby Vision. You see this? These three down here, Dolby Vision, all three of them. You get three different types, STN, STH, SER, all Dolby. Great, great stuff. You get your AV1, AVC, H264, which is great for 4K, 
And great when you're going to start pushing the 8K as an upscale. H.264 is amazing to have. You got your H.263, which is also great to have for you people who are not running true 4K. H.263 is great. Um, you got your video decoders, HEVC, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, um, MPEG-4ES. You got all the different Google types, all the different MTK types. Um, AVC, you got Google's H H.263 and H.264, another good ones. Uh, VP8, VP9. What do you else, what do you want? <laughs> what else do you want? You have everything and everything that you're going to absolutely want right here. Right there. It is good good stuff. So, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys gotten the Max or not? Um is it going to be much of a difference compared to the other ones? It's going to be a little bit more snappier, a little bit more. It's going to flow a little bit better um, because it does have that 2 gig of RAM. So it's going to be a little bit better, just something that you guys have to um, play with, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Yeah, hope you guys have liked this video. I'm actually super stoked, and I'm going to be testing this thing out. We're going to take it to the grinder, guys. We're going to really, really grind this thing out. Hope you guys have appreciated this video. Um, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys do smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what those buttons are. I'm very, very curious to know. And yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care. Take care of each other. See you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.